I'm going to go up and put it on him for a minute so they can watch him do a test. Now we got to wait for... No. Well, back him up and get him going. What do you want? Five He's... and a half or six? Or... Yep. Five and a half to six. All right, so let's go up. Concrete's actually being tested today. So. What? You guys can watch this guy. I don't know if he's going to slump test it or not, but he's going to take cylinders and test the air. So you're testing for air right now, correct? you're looking for for a exterior job like this for air content? I believe we call for a sink plus 1.5%. So between 5 and 7, it's good. 4, 5, 4.5 to 7. What's this thing called? An air meter. An air meter, yeah. About a seven, 7.2% 7 .2 air. 7.2 can't be. Yeah. All right, so that's just what we're looking for for air content. The air just helps with the freeze and thaw cycles. You know, we live in Maine from December, end of November to March, we get a lot of freeze and thawing, and those microscopic air bubbles just help the concrete absorb the freezing and thawing without, hopefully, without popping the surface. You have anything more about the air you could add? No, not really. That's basically it. So this is a slump cone. And for slumps, you know, we got mid-range water reducer in it. We're looking for somewhere between a five and a six inch slump. If I had to guess right now by looking at that, it looks like about a six. Right on a six. Okay, so we got a six inch slump. We got our seven percent air, so we're good to go. He's gonna make some cylinders now. That's what those are right there. And those will be for testing strength later on. They'll test that. How, how many days will you test? Three, uh, three, three seven, seven, seven. and two twenty-eight. So you test four. at twenty-seven? Uh, seven day will be tested, and then two twenty-eight days. That's your yep. money right there. And one for home in case it doesn't make strength. 
All right, all right, so he'll fill those up and typically they leave them right on site somewhere so the conditions are the same as the conditions that were pouring and hopefully nobody messes with them in between you you pick them up when those will be picked up tomorrow so they'll pick them up tomorrow you just have to leave them here overnight somewhere jobs you got today to do this too. Farmington after this and hopefully water bill in the afternoon I'll be done. Yeah. So that's basically it. Those are the cylinders to test strength. You got to see a slump test. You got to see an air test. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now let's get back to pouring the bridge. <laughs> Walking bridge deck. 53 by 8, about oh, 5 inches thick. Tight fit down here, but we can just get the conveyor truck back, so it should be good. We're going to have a little bit there at the end to pull, but really didn't want to have to back them on both sides. Still go out about another 10 feet. Yeah. It's about a six, six right now, so we can't. 